Good morning, everyone. How is you all today? All good, I hope. Ah, I made a boo boo. A little four tenner on, four tenner, a little three tenner on. And I forgot to uh, lift the blade up. No good, is it, people? Not good. We should have a pretty simple little day. We should. But considering the day I had yesterday, you know. Because yesterday didn't go well at all. <sighs> yesterday was a disaster. Uh, yes, yes, it was not good. What could have gone wrong did go wrong. I couldn't park on the bottom last night, so that's like we just dumped it in the car park instead. <sighs> um, oh, is that the right book? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't park on the bottom last night. Some of the boys didn't park properly, so it kind of balls me up because I got to be out before them. Oh, what a surprise! But I got to be out before them. Um, but you can't guess what I've done their paperwork this week. Correct. Me. Um, yeah, didn't have a good day yesterday. It was on for. <laughs> if it could have gone wrong, it, it went wrong, and it's that simple. It's just an uh, unbelievable day. Um, but nobody died, we all got home safe and sound, and yeah, no. So we got um, two little machines to pick up today. What's the date? <clears throat> um, so hopefully it should be a nice little straightforward day. It's the first, it should be a nice little straightforward day. Um, yeah, so um, bear with me a second, people. This was, this was the 30th. Doing yesterday's uh, defect sheet, like, you know. But it's all good, it's all good. Uh, right, I've had massive problems with sounds, as you all are aware. Because I do use, sometimes I just use that one, but I can't put a mic on it. So hopefully, now I've now got a mic. And it should be a bit better. I'm hoping it's going to be better, but we'll have to... Um, wait and see the irony of it is now right they've all come in and they want to park in the car park they can't park there because i'm parked here because they didn't park properly down here <laughs> so now they're looking for car parking spaces so the drivers who do watch me <laughs> park properly yeah um because like i said i had to use swap back and forth the two cameras so i'm hoping all right it's going to be better with this one I'm hoping um, and it should make a well we'll see we'll see how this one goes because I'm gonna use it on this I am really tried it so this could end up being completely binned now before the um, uh, before we finish this day which won't be good because like I said I got two, two new two machines to pick up two brand new ones for um, our demolition boys one's got to go and have a little bit of work on it in Newport Dock and then the other one's got to go back to um, their yard. So, a bit of luck, all be good. Um, hang on, Jesus Christ, the seventh. So, I had, I tell you what, we'll go through it when I get going now, it'll be easier. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So the last quite few, I don't know, videos have been pants because I bought another camera I realized I can't put a mic on it and it's caused problems so I had to bounce back and forth both cameras like a lot of people do but last week I had a letter sent to me um, with an exceptionally um, lovely uh, um, but in fact I was blown away by it actually I was quite like uh, but of uh, Mr. and Mrs. Patterson. So thank you very much for that. However, 
Mm. That's not going to see the old. Um, uh, see my uh, my bank. There's a check. It was, and it was a contribution for a mic because my sound has been crap. I'm not going to cash it. However, I was blown away by it. Completely blown away by it. Don't do this for that and that type of stuff. I know it's really nice, but it blew my mind. For uh, and it was in the. I'd be honest. I thought it was a ridiculous amount of money. I'm going to say that. But extremely, extremely grateful for you. Unbelievably grateful. But my boss, the mad scientist, um, is doing a little charity run. I'm going to put it in the, what do you call it, the bitty bits on the video, right? I put a link to it. <coughs> it's for a charity. So if you want to chuck a couple of quid that way, please do so, please. Um, yeah, but uh, to the to the partisans, wow, thank you very much. I'm unbelievably um, grateful. Yeah, but it did blow my mind, fair play. Because sometimes some of the kit we use, well, not so much myself, but it, it does add up. So it does take a little bit of time to um, upgrade stuff. So yeah. Um, Magic, thank you very much. So, yeah. I didn't know what to say about it all, to be honest. It kind of caught me off guard. It's always um, really nice to have um, something sent to you, because I always get blown away by it. But, um, yeah, that was... Um, happy days. I'm sorry, I'm going to say it, though. You know the name Patterson? I always think of Kevin and Perry. And I always think of the boy coming in, he goes, Hello, Mrs. Peterson. Hello, Mr. Peterson. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm not, uh, I'm just digging a hole by you, innit? But not. Massive thank you for that. Really appreciated it. Really, really appreciate it. Like I said, that will not see my bank or any form of bank. Uh, but magic. Don't do it for that. <clears throat> Even though it was a massive gesture. To me, it was anyway. I just shoved this stuff up just for um, a bit of a giggle, really. Maybe point somebody in the right direction. Right, we're off to Port Talbot. We're going to JCB in Port Talbot. We're going to pick up two brand new machines um, for our demolition boys. And um, yeah, it should, should be a nice little day today because yesterday went wrong. In, everything went wrong. I. I, press, I went to press record and do you know when you think to yourself this is not going to be one of them days where this can be shown and it wasn't one of them days where it could be shown. Uh, large quantities of health and safety was violated, um, all common sense was removed from some people and um, yeah we'll just move on. Right, I'm waffling down to Port Talbot and uh, let's get this first one on.
We now wait outside. Um, take off it. Ah, drop in. So, yeah, we're just um, waiting now. There's the one machine, the other one is behind it. We're waiting for. Oh, put it back. Just waiting for the release paperwork now. That's it. So hopefully when we are too long. I was told to be done at half past seven, but I knew the, knew that wouldn't um, <laughs> that wouldn't be a good idea. Because apparently they only had the release information this morning. So the sales team are in now. Why am I looking at my wrist for? I'm going to watch on. Yeah. So just waiting now patiently. There's a company behind me called um, Port Recovery. They got some really cool little pieces of kit, little crawler cranes and that for. Um, do a lot of work for like the electric boards and things like that to get them into um get the stuff into some well really tight little places and there's some clever bits of kit as well on machine installation and causing murder by where i am i think i have to move now i come back into the yard but normally like as soon as i back into the yard i'll have to pull out and i can't load the machine yet anyway because the paperwork hasn't come through to be released. So, oh well, you'll have to wait, people. I'll just have to keep blocking it. Right, okay. Uh, what's the JCB worth these days now? There's, um, one of, they're handing one over, but they're now fair play. They're going to town on it as well. They're giving a hell of a good scrub. Fair play to them. about some uh, cool pieces of kit they got a uh, little crawler crane I can go in some uh, rather peculiar places probably worth a few quid there I've seen uh, I've seen some videos of it working it's quite a very cool piece of kit very cool giddy up Nelly come on girl Nice, um, oh, 
Oh, it looks heavy. No, it's high, man. Oh, that was uh, nice and easy. I like them nice and... God. I, um, do you know what? You, you see how some things are chained up on the road, and it's scary. Because that was scary when I just passed. Nice and easy. Can't fault that. The lovely people at JCB. It's been a kit, I gotta be honest. This is what's replacing uh, the black one they had. And then there's another one which is a 14 ton or 16 ton machine. And two brand new ones. Do spend a lot of time in the middle lane in this truck, I gotta be honest. I gotta be fair, you do. Especially going up hill. This one's gonna say it's just gonna be done. It's gonna have a little, couple of little jobs done on it um, by uh, our fabulous super duper welder, and then uh, it'll uh, probably be straight to work. I would have thought, but it needs to be straight to work. You must pay for these things. You must pay. Well, some of you seem to like the last one with the old uh, tractor involved in it. But as somebody once said to me, you do talk a lot of... Well, you've got to, haven't you? You've got to waffle some crap. But on a, um, on a waffling crap, I, I, I've noticed the news is not uh, not showing what's going on in, uh, in the Netherlands and Holland, which I'm quite surprised at, seeing that they are, uh, the old farmers have come out pretty much shut most of the country down and um, are not really willing to play games with the government which I find brilliant because that's what should happen over here at the moment with the price of fuel I don't agree with shutting everything off but just park everything up for two days people will um, not be very happy but I think it's the way to do it because the price of fuel by me is now just over two pound two a litre I think at the pump but the farmers out in Holland are having a massive uh, massive protest because apparently the government is trying to shut down farms to get the, the emissions down which is ludicrous I like the way our uh, the western countries got to pander to the a lot of the rest of the world, especially some of the dirtier countries who don't care, Asia, China, they're not bothered. We had us. You know, we've got to tax us to death. Because we've got to save the budgie. Hug the worm and tickle the polar bear. But uh, nothing's been reported on it, which I quite find uh, quite amusing. Instead, they're more concerned about Boris having a party in lockdown. Big deal, get over it. Oh, this could be a bit of a ranty one, this could. I just don't understand it, I don't, more. I think the world's just got the hell in a handcart. Yeah, well. Anyway, to Newport. <laughs> Alright, so, that's the new machine. There is something I do like about this, i got to be honest, and that is... Oh, if I can get up here without killing myself. I do like them towing eyes up here. Much better they are. Mm, I do like that. Right. Oh. Oh, I'm going to get this off, I'll go and pick another one up. And I've wrapped that because it's a tube or a circle. If you do that with a square piece of steel, she won't pull in, but she will on a, a circle piece. Right, let's get this off. Now, hopefully, if I'm right, you should still be able to hear me. 
<laughs> Which would mean I can talk to you when I'm all the way over here. Dance, baby. But we'll have to see. As long as I've got a line of sight, apparently you should be able to hear me. And, um, Oh, what have I done with that? Oh no! Don't tell me I've done that. Boys and girls, I may have, may have lost a key code, which should be on a piece of paper. Um, I can't find the paper. Um, Uh-oh, nope, okay, so that code don't work no more, what have I done with that, should be in you, it's got to be in you, I know it is, I haven't took it out. Where the hell has that gone? It was on the side. It was on the side. Has it gone down the back? Um, hmm, okay. Let's have a look. I'm sure he said he wrote it on the book. So, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. There's one key. There's another key. Oh, balls, people. This could all go really wrong. Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh, crap. Okay. Where the hell has that gone? Didn't put it in my pocket, did I? Aha! <laughs> Panic over. Yeah. When, when I always say to myself, you haven't taken it out, Russ. I know you haven't. You've left it there. You know you've left it there. Yeah, Russ, you took it out. Why the hell would I put that in my own pocket for? <sighs> right. Let's... Oh, where my cardio phone's in there. Put it that way instead. See if that makes it better. Okay, the code is nine 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 three. Ah, <laughs> oh, grow up, Russ. Oh, I've got a big Matley thing with here. I don't want a big Matley thing. <sighs> Do you know what? I hate the beepy noises every time a machine moves. It does drive me cuckoo, if I'll be honest. A white noise. Oh, I don't know why they... Oh, there you are. I'll actually stop beeping. I need longer ramps. These are short. We need some longer ramps. If anyone would like to, uh, you know, just tell the tell the, the mad scientist. We need some longer ramps. I've got used to it now, but every now and again you do have a bit of a, um, how do we say, a hairy moment. When the old sphincter grips the seat where the, where the machine sometimes slides. Oh, and this machine's a zero swing as well. Okay, balls. We're good. Where's the power button? That one. 
it off. Yeah, check the camera. Even though this machine's a zero swing, I will guarantee you somebody will smash the bag end in. We've got brand new zero swing machines in our yard and uh, yeah, people have still managed to do the back end of it in. I've told the track over this. It's warm, very warm. There's sweat pouring out of orifices. It's show you something now. I don't like this. Uh, I don't actually think I said why well, I like them tie downs on the top but they like I do because um, when people can't be bought to clean off their machines then I'm going to dig them out. It's nice and easy. Right. Uh, a bit tight but you're going to be honest. A bit tight. A bit tight. We're we going to go round. Of course we're going to go round. I hope so. It's a bit tight there though. I might have to have a little shunt back, I think. Yeah, we're gonna have to have a little shunt back, I think. Let's see if we can uh, put it that way. I might have to get the boys to move a pack of timber. The iron, I get in here without um, the 25 ton machine on, and no problem at all. Can we get out? No. So we can just jiggle the trailer back a bit. She should go round. <laughs> ah, what's that? Oh, that's a bit tight there. We'll have a look what we got. Tell you what, I should have just waited a couple of minutes, shouldn't I, if I turned the cameras on before. Oh, damn. Oh well, that didn't go down too well. We caught it. Let's go and sort that mess out. Balls! Just knocked over a part of bloody concrete. Concrete bags. And when I say a pallet, I mean three. Just, just touched it with the neck of the trailer. Ah, anyway. Right, I'll show you what I was going to show you before I just start destroying the Terry Owls' yard. That's up for sale. And I believe they're asking 70k for it. One owner from new, no expenses spared on it whatsoever. Absolutely a beautiful um, uh, airbrushing. Stunning it is. So, after a good little track, there she is. They've got um, a new DAF coming. Uh, they've already got one DAF, which they had to replace that, but they've kept that one on the road. And um, I got sweat pouring out of me after restacking them pallets. I think I broke about, I don't know, 30 bags. Um, yeah, so. If you're interested in a nice lorry, well, there it is. She's really nice. There's only about 500,000k on it. Um, they got their DAF, which, oh, it's not that it's gone out now. Yeah, but they got a, a new DAF turning up. All right, they got a, I just saw behind now, it's unbelievable. All right, so that's the other one we got. Very nice piece of kit, I gotta be fair. Uh, 18 ton and by god don't you know you got it on you another uh, well sort of zero swingy no it's not she's a fat bum oh. yeah that is um you definitely know that's on your back that's for sure especially when up with the edge of the valleys see on um i like the two sons and that they are not up there they're down here so if you chain off on mine can't really get much tension pulled down on them same on the front. But you can when they're nice and high. Right. Nice new grab. Let's get this off anyway and get it all pulled away because I still got loads to do today. 
Tell you what, boys and girls, it's turning into a busy little day. Ah. That's um, that's five machines uh, we've had in the last three weeks. They were ordered a long time ago, though. So yeah, else growing, growing, growing. I went up to nine tippers. Well, seven tippers, two Arctics. Uh, do, do, track the trailer. Lots of diggers, lots of big diggers, lots of little diggers. Oh, wow. I pick up um, two machines by you. And then I got to pick up a 14-ton um, machine, and that's me done for the day. So it's half past three. Six o'clock. I think we might be done. I hope. Because it's Friday. And I'm working tomorrow as well. I think I'm working anyway. Still haven't found out actually. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, I really shouldn't leave things on the floor. Not good, it all rolls over and just distracts you. It does. I'm absolutely knackered. Manual labour is not for me. And restacking two pallets of cement was just not my idea. Can't believe I've done that. Well, that's not bad though. It's not bad in the bigger picture of things. Didn't damage a lorry, so. <laughs> uh, oh well. Get these done and let's get back to the yard. I need a need a good bath. I can just feel the cement over me. I'm not sure what I'm picking up here actually. I think it's um an eight ton and a three ton dumper, I think. We'll have to look. Clean sweep. Oh chimney sweep! Do you know what? Didn't even know they still done that. The chimney sweep! I was trying to think of a Mary Poppins song and I can't. Oh, chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim chiru. Is that the right one? That's probably chitty chitty bang bang or something, isn't it? Answers on a postcard. 